Uh, welcome back everybody to the third and final part of the reactions of ethers with strong acids such as hydrobromic acid, hydrochloric acid, and hydroiodic acid. So um, I left off with this incomplete table so I was hoping to complete this table with you guys so uh, let's get started okay so again we have two categories of ethers the ones that fall into the primary secondary category and the ones that fall into the tertiary ether category okay and each of them have their own style of reaction mechanism right so let's get started with that so tertiary ethers follow a um, SN1 style of reaction mechanism right they follow an SN1 style of reaction mechanism and primary slash secondary ethers follow an SN oops let's erase that They follow an SN2 style of reaction mechanism, okay? So that's the first main difference between the two that you guys should keep in mind, okay? So again, refer to the previous parts where I explain and go through the reaction mechanism with you guys, okay? So now, um, the next thing, very important, in tertiary, in regards to tertiary ethers, is that, again, we're fo focusing on uh, bromine as the conjugate base of the strong acid so I won't go through all that detail of writing conjugate base but I'll just write bromine attaches to more um, substituted carbon well that's referring to um, tertiary uh, ethers right and in regards to primary and secondary, Br minus attaches to less substituted carbon. Okay, so that's the main. Um, difference between the two so the bromine in this case attaches to uh, more substituted over here over here we have attached to less substituted carbon so that's the main key difference between the primary secondary ethers and the tertiary ethers okay so um the last thing I wanted to talk about is um, some examples of the types of ethers you'll see and again don't worry about how branched the molecule is how confusing the molecule looks just find the oxygen between the two carbon groups okay and then check to see if the carbon directly attached to the oxygen is tertiary primary or secondary whatever type of um, carbon you have attached to it and then separate them into either this category or this category and go about doing the reaction as I showed you in the previous parts okay so some examples that you guys uh, here, I don't need a dot there but some examples you guys can see or will see um, in, in regards to tertiary is if you have a so let's put a so if you have this type of um, ether okay this carbon is uh, tertiary this carbon is primary but it will still follow a, a tertiary style of reaction mechanism SN1 BR attaches to the more substituted carbon okay so these types of um, th this is an example of the type of ethers you can see you will see another type you'll see is again if you have a secondary versus a tertiary okay this also falls into this category okay and this carbons could be anything so any type of R group okay so again I'll, like I was talking about a little bit earlier about how branched it could be this is where the professor could confuse you and um, put like aromatic rings on or stuff that might stuff that are irrelevant to the re reaction itself and it might throw you off so just look at the carbon directly attached to the oxygen so R here, um, this could be R, 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 okay? So there's a lot of R's, R there, okay? 
So any type of group, okay? Again, we're focusing on the carbon directly attached. Okay? And um kind of running out of a little bit out of space, but hopefully I can make it. Um and the final one is if you have this is pretty straightforward if you have a tertiary and another tertiary uh, carbon so it doesn't really matter which carbon you would pick the bromine could or the conjugate base of the strong acid could attach to any one of these positions it could attach to this carbon here or this carbon here so it really doesn't matter in this case so again this could be R R R R R R referring to any type of alkyl group okay so now on this side, um, what are some of the types of things you will see? Okay, um, you you can see possibly this right here. So this is your, you can see a primary ether like that. Okay, you can see a a um, a ether where you have a primary carbon here and a secondary carbon here, or you can have ether we have a secondary where the carbon is directly attached are both secondary so secondary and secondary so it really doesn't matter okay again I can't stress this enough look directly at the carbons attached to the oxygen if they are secondary like this one and this one falls under this category if it's primary versus secondary falls again into this category primary primary falls again to this category that's all you gotta do and again in this case tertiary secondary falls into this category tertiary primary falls under this category tertiary tertiary falls under this category so very important keep that in mind so again before I end this video I said that previously a little bit earlier ago that I was going to end it after discussing this I just wanted to go over a few examples to see just to make sure that you guys understand it because I know during my time when I took the course uh, a lot of people including myself found this topic just a little bit confusing and it can be a lot of organic chemistry can be confusing unless you do a lot of practice problems uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do uh, one or two practice problems so let's just say we have um, this aromatic ring um, and um, let's just say something like that this ether that looks like that and we'll just say there's another aromatic ring over here and yeah that's it For so the first uh, reaction I'll keep it pretty simple and we react it with hydrochloric acid HCl okay so um, what would be the product of this uh, reaction sorry about the blurriness um, that should go away pretty soon the product of this reaction okay I'll draw them over here down here okay again we'll do is look at the carbon directly attached to the oxygen in this case it's a primary so we'll put that down here so primary right and in this case is secondary okay so again this falls into the primary secondary category follows an SN2 reaction bromine attaches or in this in this case chlorine will attach to the less substituted carbon so I'll attach here so what you'll form is a first off you'll form this primary alkyl haline right this, this a chlorine attached to the carbon plus you'll form your alcohol which is secondary And there you have it.
that's all there is to it. Let's go over uh, one more example. Um, let's think. I want to make it really confusing for you guys. <laughs> so, um, let's just say, okay, here's our oxygen. No, okay, let's make that a little bit um, over here. So again, let's just say this is our oxygen that we're focusing on. Um, let's just say we have this system here that looks like that. Um, you have something like that. You have something like that. Okay, so let me pull that down just a little bit for you guys to see. So that's this side of the alcohol. Excuse me, this side of the soon-to-be ether. And over here we'll just put it as um, that and we'll keep it kind of the same as the one before this uh, aromatic ring on the side right here okay so um sorry about the blurriness I, I really dislike this camcorder I'm using because it's making most of the videos very blurry so again, we're reacting this with plus, let's try something else, hydro iodic acid, okay, HI. So, like I said, first thing to do, look at the carbon directly attached to the oxygen. Here we have a tertiary, because this carbon is attached to three other carbon groups, so one, two, three. And over here we have a secondary carbon, one, two. Okay, so now that we have that established, um, it will follow, we're supposed to determine uh, which category it falls under. It falls under the tertiary category, right? So it's going to follow an SN1 reaction and the conjugate base of the strong acid well, basically, that's the iodine that will attach to the more substituted carbon. So our product will look something like this. So we have this, this, and then we have our iodine, right? Plus, now we have our alcohol. And that's all it, all it is to this style uh, of reaction mechanism, okay? So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for listening. This is MoBaller12, and I'm signing out.